So Rock chapter 17. Verse 24, and it reads, But unto them that repent, he granted them return and comforted those that failed in patience. Return unto the Lord and forsake thy sins. Make thy prayer before his face and offend less. First and foremost, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakakwadash. Next, double honors to the head apostle slash elder bishop, the great millstone, the one that taught us the 100 percent truth according to the Bible. Peace, blessings, and safety to all you sincere occupants. Keep pushing, keep believing, keep the faith. Regardless of people here, forbear. It ain't getting no better, Israel. You see, it's on the screen. The word repent. Suppose they are fear remorseful, regretful. Basically, you're supposed to feel bad for all the things that we did wrong against our power, turning our back on our power. Worshiping idols, committing abominable acts, eating abominable foods, just being straight up wicked. We're supposed to feel bad, Israel. You know, practicing witchcraft, being witches and warlocks, committing adultery, selling drugs, game banging, all that is wicked. The scriptures say repent and turn back. If you if you want to live, Israel. You Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, it's just, just something quick because I got to head out and get a late start. If you want to have a, any chance of being delivered and being saved, we must repent. The definition right down the screen. You have no excuse. You ain't got to ask what does the word repent mean, okay? You shouldn't. It's on the screen. And then it's, everything is worth for Google. We're living in the information. Hey, what do they call it? The WWW, the World Wide Web. It's worth a Google, Israel. You, you need to try to be um, finding out what, what's pleasing unto the Lord. With, with all this destruction going on, the Lord ever said all the time, with all this destruction that's going on and, and more to come, let's get it again. Sirach chapter 17, also known as Ecclesiastes in the Apocrypha. Sirach chapter 17, verse 20, 24. But unto them that repent, but unto them that return, those that feel remorseful, regretful, the Israelites that feel bad about going off, they feel sorry, regretful. You see? They see the error of one's way, right? He granted return and comforted those that failed in patience. Return, repent. Until the Lord, I mean, to turn back from your wickedness, Israel is getting bad out here, and forsake thy sins. What is sin? Transgressing of the law, breaking of the law. Make thy prayer before his face. We see, we're supposed to be begging the Lord. Remember, seek of ten times more. We're supposed to be begging the Lord for mercy now. None of that to put the spirit on us to repent and turn back and offend less. Because for the majority of our people, they're going to wait till it's too late. But then the scriptures also say that the, the Israelites that repent and turn back and start fearing the Lord, when the Lord really start bringing his hammer down upon Babylon and scattered throughout the four corners of the earth, you're going to know that it was nothing better than to fear the Lord. Lord willing, we have that number. We're gonna know. When, once we see the Lord start willing and dealing, baking these fools, man, James chapter 1. This is just so quick. Quick little lesson for the hopeful elect of the nation of Israel, which once again consists of you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and they're making in his James chapter 1, verse 21. Wherefore, lay apart all filthiness and superfluity of naughtiness. Because, look, you can see Jake, you know Jake out there doing too much. Look, especially when it comes to wickedness. The Lord said, turn from all that and receive with meekness the engrafted word. We got to come humble. We got to turn back humbly. And receive with meekness the engrafted word, which is able to save your soul. You look, in order for you to do that, you got to repent. We got to repent, Israel. Ain't, ain't no way around repent. And the things that are written the fourth time were written for our learning, right? Let's get this right quick. Psalms. This ain't nothing long. Who have, what did the scripture say? Who have ears to hear, let them hear. We have ears to hear, let them hear. This is Psalms 119. 
Psalms 119 and 9. And it reads, Wherewithal shall a young man cleanse his way? You want to know how you can get your act together? Listen, it's, it's simple. It's simple. Wherewithal shall a young man or a young woman, Israelite man or woman, cleanse his way? By taking heed thereto according to thy word. This is the real baptism. You see? Being submerged in this word. This is what cleans us up. This is, what, this is what cleans us up from being filthy, from being polluted. Yeah, that, that easy. Yeah, that is, is that easy, Israel? Taking heed to this word. And, and, and once again, the things that are written aforetime were written for our learning. Let's get dude around me right quick. Before I head out. We're in this predicament. Say, I'm going to work because of, of me going to hell off. That's, that's why we over here in Babylon working our tails off, Israel. Because of what we did, our former past life, our former sins. It, it, it caught up to us. That's, that's the thing about it, Israel. It's always going to catch up to you. I'm looking at the news now. People got destroyed. Storms, earthquakes, floods, bang outs, jackings, nappings. Fires, you you name it, wars. Re re remember the slave ships that happened to us because we transgressed, because we went against the grain. And now the Lord has granted us return. Now He has put His Spirit on us to return. Let's, let's do it. Let's do it, Israel. Deuteronomy the tenth chapter, verse twelve, and it reads, "And now Israel." What doeth the Lord thy power require of thee? What does the Lord command Israel to do? But to fear, that's the first thing. Fear the Lord thy power, Salakia, and to walk in all his ways, rehearse the righteous acts to the best of our ability. We say we love the Lord, right? And to love him, we, we, we say we love the Lord, right? And to serve the Lord thy power with all thy heart, meaning all your mind and with all thy soul, to keep the commandments of the Lord and his statutes, which I command thee this day for thy good, and we do all that to the best of our ability. We serve the Lord to the best. The Lord said, no, saying, go hard. We, we, we serve the Lord. We, we, we go hard, Israel. The Lord said he don't want us lukewarm. He wants us either cold or hot. When it comes to serving the Lord, he be either cold or hot. Or choose you this day who you're going to serve. You're going to serve those other gods? Go ahead. Just go ahead. I can't stop you. The, the Lord got a stopper, though, and it's called judgment. Job 28. Just hit some points and I'm gone. Job 28. Remember, we made a covenant. We made an agreement with the Lord that we will follow his ways to the best of our ability. Let's go. Job 28 and 28. And it reads, and it's a man and Israelite woman. He said, behold, the fear of the Lord, that is wisdom. And to depart from evil is understanding. Fearing the Lord and to depart from evil is understanding. And, and the knowledge, wisdom, understanding of our world, the Lord had me say each and every day. The knowledge, wisdom, understanding of the scriptures, that's what's going to keep us stable. You, you wait till all hell really break loose. Man, a brother was talking about it. Jake going to be hauling ass trying to get the hell out of Dodge. You wait till all hell really break loose. They, they don't see the importance of this knowledge, wisdom, understanding of the scriptures right now. But oh boy, oh boy when it pop off, oh boy. Second Chronicles chapter 15, verse 13. That whosoever would not seek the Lord power of Israel, for whosoever would not repent and turn back from their wickedness. Uh, look, of the nation of Israel should be put to death. Did, did you hear that, Israel? That's plain. Should be put to death, whether small or great, whether man or or women, all right? Whether man or woman, you you will meet defeat. That's the thing about it, Israel. You will meet defeat. Did a lesson yesterday on how it's um, time, it's high time to wake out of sleep for the salvation is nearer than when we believe. Then, then you want to continue to be wicked? The Lord got something for you then. Let's just type this in right quick. Um, the Sirach. Bear with me. You want to be bad? Then the Lord got something to stop all that badness. The Lord has a bad stopper. Sirach chapter 40. 
Just gonna get this right quick. You wanna be bad? You wanna act just like Esau? You wanna act just like Slazy E, the wicked? The Lord got something for all that, man. You see? This is Sirach chapter um, 40, verse 9. Matter of fact, I started 8. Such things happen to all flesh, both man and beast. And that is sevenfold more upon sinners. So, locked in. so a complete number of things is going to happen to the wicked of our people. I mean, it's going to get bad. A complete number of things. It's not just going to be one thing. It's going to be a complete number of things happening to you Israelites, man. You see? You might end up losing your job, losing your place. Let's say you know an animal come and bite off one of your legs, and then let's say you know a bird come and peck out one of your eyeballs, and let's say you know you end up catching up. There's just all kind of scenarios going to happen to the majority of our people. We just say death and bloodshed, strife. The Israelites that don't want to repent, right? Death and bloodshed, strife and sword, calamities, famine, tribulation and the scourge these things are created for the wicked and for their sakes came the flood but but that don't a scripture like that don't even scare our people that, that that's how bad our people have gotten you see that's how bad our people have gotten for have gotten you know, say, to, to the fact of when you hear a scripture like that it don't even scare you Okay, the Lord has something to scare each and every last one of us. That, that's the thing about it. That's the thing about it. The Lord has something to stop each and every last one of us in our tracks. They don't want to get it right. Ephesians chapter 5. Verse 15. See then that you are circumspectly supposed to be looking around, paying attention to what's going on. Not as fools, but as wise, redeeming the time because the days are evil man and our people are going to get caught dead up in the evils man let's get this right quick this is philippians chapter 2 verse 12 and like it like it says in revelation um, 22 i'm thinking um 11 you know i'm saying look he that is unjust let him be unjust still he that is filthy let him be filthy still he that is holy, let him be holy still. And he or she that is righteous, let him be righteous. Because the Lord coming with rewards and gifts and all that, man. You see, for the elect of our people and the two-thirds of our people, the Lord got rewards. Philippians chapter 2, verse 12, Wherefore, my beloved, as ye have always obeyed, not as in my presence only, but now much more in my absence, work out your own salvation with fear and trembling look remember israel to hell with what everybody else doing you know what the lord commanded us to do to look to turn back to turn back look, look, look. work out your own salvation israel with fear and trembling blood gonna flow it's gonna leak it's gonna skeet soon come you know look it's gonna skeet all over the ground you see let's get this right quick i got, I got one more then i'm gone Lord's will. Let's get this. Um, second Ezra. 16th chapter. Second Ezra chapter. Um, and the Lord made good his word by bringing, a, bringing that evil upon us, man. Second Ezra, the 16th chapter. Verse. Um, let's see. <clears throat> second Ezra chapter 16, verse um, 39. It reads. Even so shall not the plagues be slack to come upon the earth, and the whole world shall mourn. And sorrow shall come upon it on every side. Ain't going to be nowhere to run. Ain't going to be nowhere to hide. Just like during Noah's time. You see, it won't nowhere to run. It won't nowhere to hide once, the, once that rain started dropping. But when all hell break loose, and it's breaking loose now. It ain't going to be nowhere to run. It ain't going to be nowhere to hide. And the Lord doesn't take bribes, Israel. You can't bribe the Lord. You can't pay the Lord off. Let's get this again. Second Ezra 16, 39. Repent, Israel. Even so shall not the plagues be slack to come upon the earth. They here already. It's going to get worse. And the world shall mourn. You see? The scriptures say others shall mourn, but you're going to laugh. The Israelites that turn back, you're going to laugh. Lord willing, we have that number. You're going to rejoice, Lord willing, we have that number. Everybody else is going to mourn. 
and sorrows, not love and sorrows shall come upon it on every side. Nowhere to run, nowhere to hide. Repent, Israel. Matter of fact, I do got one more. Let's get this last one. And then once again, this lesson that I'm doing is for the hopeful elect of the nation of Israel. It's not for every, every Israelite man. All right. Isaiah. Isaiah 55, Isaiah chapter 55, verse 6, and it reads, Seek ye the Lord while he may be found. Call ye upon him while he is near. Let the wicked forsake his way, the wicked Israelites forsake his way, and the unrighteous man his thoughts. And let him return unto the Lord, all caps, the Most High Yahweh, through his only begotten Son, Yahweh Shai, and he will have mercy upon him and to our power, for he will abundantly pardon, man. So, so we got to seek the Lord, Israel. If we want to have any chance of making it, we got to seek the Lord. This is my last one. Um, let's see. Is this it? Zephaniah 3 and 5. No, what is it? 2. Let's see. Yeah. Zephaniah chapter 2, verse 3. And it reads, Seek ye the Lord. Are you meek of the earth? Are you humble? Of the earth, out of the Israelites, which have wrought his judgment, seek righteousness, which is this word, seek meekness, got to continue to be humble, all of us. It may be, ye shall be here in the day of the Lord's anger. And the Lord's getting very, very pissed the hell off at these wicked people on the face of the earth. So when his wrath come down, you don't want to be nowhere near it, Israel. Repent and seek the Lord, Shalom.